Hello everyone, we bring you greetings from Calvary Outreach Fellowship Center. Our physical location is 920 Northwest 9th Avenue in the great city of Fort Lauderdale in the great state of Florida. And also, you can reach us virtually on several different platforms. You can reach us on Facebook, you can reach us on Twitter, you can reach us on Instagram and YouTube. Also, you can check out our website. We're at calvaryoutreachfellowshipcenter.org. And guess what, you guys? We also have an app that you can download. And the app is COFC, and you'll find us on all different platforms, the Android platforms. And for your iPhone people, you can find us there too. I'm Angela Brown, First Lady of Calvary Outreach Fellowship Center. Welcome. Hello. I'm going to talk to you about our women's ministry at Calvary. We have several different things available for you. We have WOW, which is Women of Worth. I love that. WOW. And the Women of Worth is where we come together. It's about unity. It's about strength. It's about building up. It's about hearing you. It's about listening. Um, we have a fellowship uh I like it's a bond because you can come. We're going to have multi generations there. If you have not been mothered, you can come there and find a motherly figure who will pour into you, who will be a shoulder for you to lean on. If you never knew your grandmother, we got some grannies here at Calvary, and they will love you like grandmothers. If you don't have a sister, or maybe you and your sister don't get along too well, you can come and be a part of a whole sisterhood. It's really great. We just come and you can just lay your burdens down. You can just relax. You can just enjoy each other. And again, it's a place where you can be heard. I know so many women feel like you're not being heard. This is where you can be heard and someone will listen to you and give you their feedback. And maybe that woman went through something that you're going through. It's a place where you can pull each other up, be strengthened and just lay it all down. No worries, uh, no responsibilities, but I guarantee you, you'll have a great time. Come and join us. That's WOW, Women of Worth. Also, we have Naomi's ministry. And Naomi's ministry is a pouring into, okay? It's a place where you can come and you can receive, you can glean. Just like Ruth was instructed by Naomi to go glean, and the gleaning took her to her destiny, which was Boaz, which we know that led to Jesus Christ. But it's a great place, Naomi, you can be poured into. Also, a part of the Naomi's ministry, what we have is Wednesday's Word, and you come into podcast and you'll see us talking about um, many different subjects, and also we'll invite men to give their point of view. But again, I want you to come join this women's ministry where we can be strengthened. I think a lot of times women are just not close to each other. I heard a lot of women say, I don't trust women. And I'm thinking, why? <laughs> we give birth to, to the world. Um, just come and be strengthened. That's a weakened place to say, I don't trust women. Come learn that you can trust women. Come and be strengthened. Come and be filled with joy. Come and be filled with hope. Calvary Outreach Fellowship Center's Women's Ministry. Wow. Guess what? If you're of the male persuasion, you're not left out of the equation. <laughs> we also have a Kingsman's ministry where the apostle is pouring into the men and the men are telling their stories. The men are laying it all down at his feet and they come and receive power. So check out the Kingsman's ministry for the men. And also, I want to tell you about the vision of our, our women's ministry. So the vision of the women's ministry is to empower women. Um, you've got to think about this. You have women on the workplace, women on the job, uh, women out all into society. And if you're at a homemaker, you're raising up a generation. You're raising up somebody's uh, husband, somebody's wife. You're raising up possibly a pastor or a, a, you know, many different things. So we need to pour into you so you can pour into them. And I want to say this effectively. It's okay to receive help and to receive guidance because that's what we're here for. The church is a place where you can come and receive and be empowered that you may go out and send it out into the world. And what better place is the people that you're already touching their lives, your children at home, your people on the job. 
the person at the grocery store you talk to all the time. So we want to just pour into you. And this is a resource that you need to tap into. Women's ministry. Hey, I'm going to tell you a secret. Women have been holding it down for a long time. We have been carrying it a lot. But we don't often get the credit for it. And a lot of times we feel like we're not heard. This is a place where you can come and be heard. Not just the older people, because I know young people feel like they don't hear me. But guess what? Come to the women's ministry. We'll hear you. Because I know that I know that I know that young people have something to add to the equation. A lot of times uh, the older people, we're using some antiquated methods. But you know what's going on in the world. And if you can come and tell me how young people think, then I can go and use that to get deal with young people to bring them into the household of faith. Same thing, vice versa. You can listen to the older people. This is not they call us old heads. But we know some things. We know how to deal with an older person. Maybe it's somebody at your job giving you a hard time. Come on in, glean with us, be empowered, and be empowered by the word. And the word is not antiquated. But come on, be empowered. Women's ministry, come on women of God. We need to come on and get strengthened and empowered to go and deal with the world for God's sake.